And How big is the house? Almost 19,000 square feet. 19,000. 18,850 to be exact. Okay. And nine bedrooms and 15 bathrooms. 15. 15. Got it. Just in case you gotta go. Yeah, got just it. in case. Cool. Wow. Wow. Hi. Hello. Great to see you. Great to see you too. I'm vaccinated. So we get Me to... too. Okay, great. We get the hug. Thank you. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Two gates. Two gates. Well, actually three because you came in through the gates of Bel Air also. All right. So security is not an issue here. It's actually these gates are like a fortress too. So wait, so this it's like curves right as you come in. Yes, it does curve. It's very, very unique, unlike all the modern boxes you see. Yeah. 18,000, almost 19,000 square like foot this. house. This is like the, like, you leave your sins out here. Exactly, and just You step in, you're like, in. oh, now we're good. Now we're in the zen space. This is brand new. This is pretty much brand new. Never been lived in, and as you can see, the, the shape works. It separates the house into three very livable wings, pretty much. And the most important thing, you walk in and that you get the views all the way from the ocean. Yeah, these doors are imported from Switzerland. They're called Sky Fleet. Because it's curved glass. Yeah, and that's what's so special about them. Even these the grates are curved. But this is actually the only house in North America that has the automated one touch. This is very much an open floor plan, but there is like separation between rooms so you don't feel like you're getting lost in like a museum-like yeah. situation. So that is your formal living area. Okay. Of course, when the glass doors open up, you have indoor, outdoor space all around. Great for entertaining, great for family, great for pretty much anything. Formal dining. This is the formal dining room. Got the giant Calcutta gold book matched marble. It's pretty. And you actually have lawn here. You have lawn, yeah. You got grass yard if you have dogs, kids. So onwards, you have two powder rooms on this level. So this is the family room. Okay. And nice. You have this is what we call like the pretty show kind of kitchen. Okay. Um, not too many appliances. You know, you have refrigerator drawers. It's super sleek. Yeah, this is like your Instagrammy moments. Yeah. Um, because we have another more prep kitchen somewhere else. Got it. Because you need two kitchens, of course, at a Always. minimum. Always. I, see, I feel like that's a thing. Like in LA, you need this and you need two kitchens. Yeah, of course. You need the plants inside everywhere and you need two kitchens. Super high ceilings. Great But this ceilings. is awesome that you have this for people just to hang out and you have the access to the outdoor. Yeah. How long did it take them to build this? I believe three years. You know, so this is the back stuff. hall. That's just a little supplement to the pretty kitchen. I've not seen a dumb waiter in so long. Well, it's necessary when you have kitchens on multiple levels. So this is three floors. It's three floors. Like it's not just one big, like you said, it's not just a box. It's not just a box. And it's, yeah, you'll never see this again. I mean, she really wanted this to be the next generation of iconic architecture. The staircase as well, uh, shipped from Canada, welded on site. A Canadian staircase. A Canadian staircase, yes. Mm. This I like to call like the heart of the house, connects all the three levels. It was all the arteries. And all the arteries, exactly, yeah. Okay, so you get a little glimpse through the wow. glass walls of what's to come. Wow. So, your entertaining section. Clearly. One thousand bottle wine cellar. Really pretty. And you have it fitted up. Really cool. And this is just a little lounge. You can put a TV there if you like. Got it. We've got a powder room. And then nice. we've entered into the health and wellness. I love it. The house is so big that it has its own. Oh my god. So we can start there. Yeah, sorry. I should we be have, following no, you, but fine, I just keep seeing fine. things where I'm like, I gotta move. So we have a massage room, of course. Yes. Need that in-house. So we've got a sauna and a steam room. There's a sleek piece of glass in the middle. So it oh. looks like, 
it looks so you can, like, like it's do connected. it by yourself, but with a friend. This exactly. is super COVID Isn't that cool? friendly. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this gym is ginormous. So it's really about putting in amenities that people don't have to leave their house. Yeah. So you got this gym, but this gym can also I would be... just say, I didn't, not to cut you up, but I did not feel bad for anyone in LA during quarantine in 2020. I, I can understand that. But by the way, this gym could also be, it could be a, a salon, it could be a glam room, it could be turned into an office. Sure. So really, like, it's not stuck as one thing. Yeah. So this is like the grand Very entrance moody. to the movie theater, which is, of course, Dolby Atmos cinema quality. Wow. The ceiling curves really make you feel like you're in a movie theater. Yeah. And notice how the sound dropped, of course. It's soundproof. All the speakers are hidden in the walls. Really cool. Steps down for that super movie theater feel. You could watch a lot of Bravo in here. You could watch a lot of Bravo. <laughs> All right. I love this hallway, though. I love it, too, with the lights that come up yeah. from the ground. The lighting in the whole house is pretty awesome. It's very zen house. This, this is like your back hall. That's like a back the staircase area. that connects back up to our family room kitchen. Oh. And here is the second. The second kitchen. Massive kitchen. Commercial grade. Yeah. You can obviously imagine lots of catering can happen down here. Or... Oh, and the dumb waiter comes here. And the dumb waiter comes here. There you go. So you can send things up. So this house was like really, really built to entertain and have dinners and. Yeah, exactly. And, and you can see the, oh, the fact that the builder has that hospitality background because this is a serious, serious these all, kitchen. These are all appliances. This is not storage. Like these are, I don't even know what this is. is this these like are a, refrigerator drawers. Are they, you guys don't so, have those in New York? We, <laughs> we do, listen, we, we live in closets in New York. That's true, there's no room for a refrigerator drawer. I just didn't know if this was a warmer drawer or a refrigerator drawer. You no, know, it might be, who knows? Oh my God. So this, next. Is it safe to go down here? This, I know, looks like, okay, so we're are going underground. Okay. To the cube. This is the cube? This is the cube because of the shape of it. And it is a guest house for your long-term guests yeah. or for staff. Um, they can enter through their own private driveway and garage, which comes up from these stairs. So that's the garage. Okay. Um, that way, you know, they don't have to go through the main house. And it's totally separate. Like we're in our own separate world. Yeah, totally here. separate worlds. So you have two. Bedrooms. And they have their own private. They have their own elevator as well. Yeah. Fancy. So two bedrooms down here. So this is yeah. So this is in-laws, guests, go yeah. to your own house. Staff. These are meant to be like the staff rooms, but it could be yeah, whatever you want it to be. And that's yeah, where they pull in from the street. Their own. And no one's lived here. Nobody has lived here. So welcome to the upstairs of the cube. So you have two more bedrooms up here. Nice. Slightly larger. After you. Than the other ones. You got extra closet space, you got a little sink. So the cube is four bedrooms? The cube is four bedrooms. So five in the main house, okay. four in the cube nice. equals nine. All right, we made it back up. To the main house. To the main house. Now you see how it connects. Wow. So from underneath, but from up here, only on the outside. Whoa. So here's another moment. This is cool. Beautiful deck with fireplace, entertaining lounge. This is so cool. This might be some of my favorite outdoor space I've seen, just like the geometry of the building. Yeah, the way it those. sits perfectly. It's like really, really special. That heat works. That works. I know. That's hot. So, this is awesome. Yeah, I was going to say, this is my <laughs> favorite visual of the house. It's wow. very like retro, like kind of mid-century, but yeah. brand new, like that railing, even the landscaping, like the plants. That is so pretty. Yeah, let me look too. Yeah, I love that. This is the money shot. Super pretty and so different. Yes. Really cool. All right, where to next? Okay, back to the heart. Let's go check out those arteries. All right, before we head upstairs, I'm gonna show you something cool. The Which toys, way? The toys wing. The toys wing. Think about it. And then oh, wow. this. The 
garage with the terrazzo floors. We've got speakers in the ceiling so you can have parties in here. If you um, wanted to pull the cars out. Or you could have like a car party. You have a car party. The cars get views in case they get bored. That's cool. And then check out how these doors open. Because I had never. Wow. I mean, that's different. Why they do it that? I mean, that's awesome. Just, Just to be different, to stand out. And because it's grand. That is super grand. It's really grand. I mean, you have plenty of space. So it's not like you have to worry about anything. That's insane. And then when, like, when they're all open, when the cars are all here. Yeah. Where to? It's upstairs, right? All right. Last so but not bright. least. There's views everywhere. There's views everywhere. I'm excited to show you these bedrooms. Speaking of views everywhere. But first. Yeah, home office. <laughs> then we have a little, another little moment, another upstairs lounge. Cool. Love the skylight as it pours down, and the skylight is the same shape as the stairs. Exactly. It's like, like this is just really, really wild. Triangle, letting in lots of natural light. You have the, the balcony that wow. wraps around the whole wow. length of this There's this so floor. much outdoor space here. Yeah. It does. This would be great though. for. Taking calls. Yeah. Pacing back and forth. Back. That's all I would do out here. Are you a pacer? Yeah, I just walk back and On forth. The phone. Back and forth. <laughs> really cool. That's yeah, very nice. The breeze. Pacific Ocean breeze. This is the office. This is just a little mini setup. Okay, so first I'm gonna show you these bedrooms because we're gonna save the best for last. Okay. These hallways. Are so pretty. Isn't they spent so much like, money on them. Again, zen. So all the guest bedrooms are very sumptuous. Feels again like a hotel, but here's where you see yeah. how just calm and, and could it be sold furnished? Views. Yeah, it can be. Very Stones that they chose. <laughs> and see, I thought that was a mirror. All of a sudden, I was like, why do I look like Adrian? So this is pretty cool because you get the privacy when you want, but you also get the views when you want. Yeah. As well. Such a pretty tree. So pretty I thought that trees. was pretty unique how they have this, the bedroom doors, this glass. It's really cool. So this is the best for last that you've been saying? This is the best for last. This is the actual junior primary nice. bedroom. So I don't think your guests will leave though if they stay in this room. Awesome. This is, is killer. Yeah, 100, These, I mean, almost 360, yeah, 360 degree views, pretty much. Yeah. Maybe Perhaps 180 from here. All the way around. All the way around, and then check out this bathroom and closet. Whoa. I mean, for a guest, for a guest bedroom, it this is, is so snazzy. nice. Snazzy. Snazzy, two sides. With the floating mirror in the middle. With the floating mirror. And then this is all closet space all, all the way around? Yeah, all closet space. That's a, Really good use of space, actually. You get wow. tons of it. Wow. Wow. Cool. This is awesome. This here is so tricky. Yeah. Right. It seems like it just ends there, but no, it's, it wraps all the way around. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and then this is our final piece, right? This is our final piece. This massive outdoor space. It's so unique though that they chose to do this iron railing and not like the standard LA glass. glass. I know. And that's part of my favorite. Like it just looks so cool. Yeah. It looks so different. It complements everything. It really is a piece of art, right? It is a piece of art. 18,850 square feet, nine bedrooms, 15 bathrooms. You have a private cinema, a private gym. You've got two huge kitchens. You have a guest house called The Cube that's four bedrooms. You have a kick-ass garage that opens on both sides that has, oh, it's called Terrazzo floor, Terrazzo. right? Uh, the house is shaped like a boomerang and it's the only one in the world that has the one touch doors. Basically, yes. Where I forget. Bravo. North America. North America. But whatever. The world, North the world, America. The World Same Series thing. is still North America, yeah, right? Exactly. Yeah. And it's yeah. asking $49 million. Yep. 49. Okay. With you. Nailed it. You're the best. Thank you so much. Thank oh, you. Oh, I can't wait to do it again. Look at this house. <laughs> it's so crazy.
Thank you guys so much for watching. That is 11490 Orem Road in Bel Air. Now listed for $49 million with the best Fair Brittany at the agency. Make sure to like, make sure to subscribe, and we will see you guys later. I love the shape of this place. It's crazy.